friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. A lot of you messaged me because I did not upload a what I eat last week because I was doing the Wendy plan and you have seen that prior to this. So that is why I did not upload a what I eat, but I am back on track. You will be seeing these every single week for what I eat Wednesday. So I'm gonna take you along with me today on everything that I eat, my breakfast, my lunch, an amazing dinner recipe, snacks, a little day in the life, glimpses of my fur babies, and it's going to be a fun, fantastic, and most importantly, on track day. So if you wanna come along with me on my what I eat in a day, then all you have to do is keep watching. from protein wise just came let me show you what i grabbed these are my all-time favorite things guys and i love that protein wise always sends you samples so free stuff is never a bad thing so what i grabbed were my very favorite candies these are the sweet nothings you know i love these i have three favorite flavors one of them is the caramel pecan cluster i love this one these are one smart point chocolates and they literally taste like you went to a chocolate store i mean they are that good and they're one smart point a piece with weight watchers fantastic math if you have two it is three smart points but i like to just have one as a treat so delicious so i grabbed three packages of that flavor this one literally tastes like a snickers so this is the peanut nougat cluster and again one smart point and then i really like this one as well this is the Caramel Crispy, and this one is really good too. It has that nice texture with the Rice Krispies in there, so, so good. Four of those, three of those, three of those, so I think I'm good for a while. I also grabbed another bar, bar, box of the Quest Birthday Cake Bars. I really like these. These are one of my other favorite bars. I prefer the Built Bar, but sometimes I want something different, so I'll use the Birthday Cake Bar. These are four points, so I got a whole box of those. And I'm also obsessed, literally obsessed with these. These are peanut butter cup patties. They taste like a Reese's. They are one point. That's it, you guys, one point per patty. You can have two patties for two points. So they come actually together. Let me see if I can get this open. They come as actually a two pack. There we go. So when you order, there's two of the peanut butter patties in here and this package is two points and literally you guys they are so good I love 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 them and this is a new one that I found on their website and this is the vanilla peanut cluster again one point a piece or two points for two so if you're wanting some delicious chocolate that is zero glycemic index. That is one thing that I really, really like about Chalkrite. And their, their flavor is on point. They're so good. So I got three boxes of the peanut butter cup, two boxes of the vanilla peanut cluster. And then they sent me these, which I've had these before. These are really good. These are chocolate soy snacks. I'm going to put the points on the screen because I'm not 100% sure. But I had these. These were really good. And then they also sent me one of their lemon bars. I've never had this, so I'm going to have to look up the points, and I'll put that here on the screen for you guys as well. So these were samples. So I love this website. Click the link down in the description box, enter my code, and ProteinWise will give you $10 off your first order. These are like three something a piece, so you can almost get three full bags for free. So go on to ProteinWise, click my link, enter my code, 10 bucks off. 
can't beat it. I'm gonna put these away because I'm really excited. So here is my breakfast for this morning. I'm super excited. So I have three slices of the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. This is my favorite bacon. I just tossed this in the microwave and cooked it until it was crispy. You can have three slices for only two smart points. I have two scrambled eggs with a little bit of egg whites for zero. And then I have one slice of my lemon and blueberry scones that I made for a collab video that you guys will be seeing coming out shortly. These are amazing, so definitely stay tuned for that collab, and this is three smart points. And then I'm going to have a little bowl of fresh blueberries and some water. So my entire breakfast is three for the scone and two for the bacon, so this is a five smart point breakfast. Is it breakfast time? Yeah, you're waiting for yours. Yeah, I know, baby. Bubba. Is it breakfast time for you? Apparently it's breakfast time for the entire family. So here is my morning snack. It's just after 10. I'm having one of the brand new, just released for a short period, mint brownie delight built bars. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this because it is unlike any other built bar. It is absolutely phenomenal. A lot of you have asked about these bars and what they taste like. They are nothing like the mint chocolate cream that is already out with Built Bar. These have a very subtle mint flavor, just the right amount, but very fudgy, brownie-like texture, consistency, and taste. So very, very different from the mint. I love this one so much. You are seeing this on Wednesday, which is midway through its availability. So it is available from Tuesday, June 24th through Thursday, June 27th, and that's it. Then it's gone. So you have to hop on to BuiltBar.com right away. Use my code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. They are with every full box purchase, whether it be a single flavor, a mixed box, a build your own box, or an entire box of this flavor. They will give you two free mint brownie delight bars in your order for free. Now, if you order two full-size boxes, again, anything that you'd like, they'll throw in six free blueberry cheesecake bars and four free mint brownie delight. So you are getting 14 bars for free. You guys, that is almost an entire box of built bars for free. That is a 30 dollar value. So it is time to stock up. You can freeze them, throw them in your refrigerator. It is time to stock up on Built Bars and you don't want to miss out on this flavor because it is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take a bite, show you the inside, and then I'm having here in my big glass here, I just have some of my Starbucks passion tea lemonade. So let me bite into this deliciousness and I'll show you the inside. So there's the inside of this Built Bar. It is fudgy, chocolatey brownie delight absolutely incredible so don't forget to get on and order your boxes of built bars between today and tomorrow so you can score this flavor because you will not be sorry i'm so excited my smart cakes came look you guys the limited edition orange cream i am so excited how good will this be with some yogurt in a parfait? You can even add some of the Julian Bakery Pro Granola, some fat-free Ready Whip. What a perfect summer treat, or eat it by itself with some fat-free Ready Whip, yum. So, orange cream, smart cakes, look, you the little two-pack. They've kind of redesigned their packaging, which I really like. These are keto-friendly as well. These little cakes, this package has two in there. They are one smart point a piece, or you can have two for two smart points. They're only 38 calories a piece, and they are gluten-free. You guys, these cakes are amazing. I love them, as you know. I cannot wait to make some summer parfaits. So if you're interested in smart cake or the smart bun, they're both produced and sold by the same company, you can go to smartbakingco.com, use my code here on the screen, and save yourself 10%. Everything also is down in the description box. But check out the orange, get the orange cream before it's gone. You guys, it's 
delicious. So here's what I'm having for lunch today. This is leftovers from beef enchiladas that you guys will see in an upcoming video. So good. This is made with the Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. You guys, this is two enchiladas and this is only six smart points for two enchiladas made with ground beef and they are so good. And I topped it with three tablespoons of fat-free sour cream for one point. So this is seven smart points. And then I am having a light and fit Greek yogurt topped with my Julian Bakery granola. Love it. This is the espresso cluster granola. You can order Julian Bakery, which I highly, highly recommend. They have several really, really good flavors. Click the link down in the description box below and enter my code. You do have to click the link to use the code and it will give you 10% off and free shipping. You guys, this granola is amazing. Half of a cup is only two points. So I just added a tablespoon to my yogurt, so it is zero. So the only thing that I have to count for is the actual yogurt. So that is two points. And then I have one of my little mini bunt cakes, creme brulee, that I made in meal prep, which you guys saw on Monday. These are fantastic. And this is one smart point. And then I'm working on some water. So this is a total of a 10 smart point lunch. Look at my baby girl. She's enjoying the nice weather. It's not super sunny today, but it's pretty warm. So she's made her way outside to her dog bed. And my husband spent the entire day yesterday literally in our yard. Look at that. He weed whacked and mowed the back couple acres. And it looks amazing. So good job, honey. Are you cozy, bud? Diesel's in bed still. He's gotten up to bark twice. And that was the extent of it. So... Great we thing we have a king size bed because someone sprawls out and takes up sideways the entire distance of the bed. All right guys, it's afternoon snack time. I'm hungry. It's almost three o'clock, so I'm gonna have one of these protein wise caramel sea salt bars. I love these. These are absolutely delicious and they're only four smart points and they're huge and they have this caramel coating. They're really good. You can order these off of protein wise Use my discount code and the link down in the description box and you will get $10, $10 off your first order. So that's insane. So you can get $10 worth of free product. I really like these. I have one left, so I'm gonna have to hop on and order some more. They are gluten-free and they are to die for. So I'm gonna have that for four points. And then I've got some watermelon here. I'm just gonna have a few pieces and that's going to be my second fruit of the day. And I'm still working on a cup here of the Starbucks Passion Lemonade. So this is going to be a four smart point snack. So for dinner tonight, we're having baked spicy chicken meatballs. And we're going to pair that with a side of rice and a veggie. So let me show you what's in our meatballs. So first, you're going to need some ground chicken. This is the 96.4. This was the leanest my store had. So I went ahead and grabbed it. You do have to count points for 96.4 ground chicken. You're also going to need some flour, some salt, chili pepper flakes, garlic powder, and either fresh or minced onion. And then for the sauce, you will need some store-bought sweet and sour sauce, light soy sauce, rice vinegar, ground ginger, honey. I decided to go ahead and use my sugar-free honey. And if you want to know where to pick this up, you can get this from Nutrition. Down in the description box is a link. If you click the link, it takes you directly to the website and you can just search sugar-free honey. I can't tell a difference. Love it. And so I'm going to be using that. And then of course, I'm going to go ahead and just cook some jasmine rice in my instant pot. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is put together our meatballs. So in my bowl, I have one pound of the ground chicken. To that, I'm going to add one half of a cup of all-purpose flour. I did omit the cilantro as well. I forgot to mention that because I don't have any and my husband's not a huge fan as it is. So I omitted that, but we are going to add in minced onion, or again, you can use fresh onion, a little bit of salt, and that's just going to help enhance all the rest of the flavors. And then we're going to add in some garlic powder. 
And lastly, we're gonna add in some red chili pepper flakes. Now, this is what's gonna add the kick. So if you are like me and my husband and not a huge fan of spice, just don't go crazy on the red chili pepper flakes. And then we're gonna go ahead and stir this until it is all nice and combined. The chicken is mixed really well with the flour and all of the spices. And then we'll be ready to get our meatballs put together. Once you have your chicken nice and combined with your flour and your spices, remove your wedding ring and we are going to dig in and roll out our chicken into balls. I am go my goal is to get 18 meatballs. So the more meatballs I get, the lower the points, but I would be happy if I got 18 meatballs. That's kind of my my goal. So I'm going to go ahead and get these rolled out and then we will get these into the oven and start making our sauce. So I ended up getting 14 meatballs. They are still the same smart points due to the chicken being leaner than I originally thought. So I have 14 meatballs. Now you can put these in your air fryer. You can deep fry these. You can pan cook these. I've decided to go ahead and oven bake these. So I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven until they are completely cooked through. It should take 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll get started on making our sauce. Next, we're going to put together the actual teriyaki sauce. So what I have here is two tablespoons of light soy sauce. I have two tablespoons of my sugar-free honey. And again, you can use regular honey. Just adjust your points accordingly. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. One quarter cup of sweet and sour sauce. And we're gonna add a little bit of ground ginger, which gives it that nice little bit of Asian flair as well. So a little bit of ginger. And then we're gonna add a few more of our red chili pepper flakes. Now remember, if you want it hotter, use more red pepper flakes. And then a little bit more garlic powder. And then we're gonna take a whisk and we're just gonna whisk everything together here in our saucepan. And then once our meatballs are just about done cooking, we'll go ahead and throw this on the stove and let it cook down till it's nice and thick. Now let's do our rice. I went ahead and added one cup of rice and one and a half cups of water to my Instant Pot. Honestly, this is the easiest way to cook rice. I'm not making a whole lot because I don't think that we would even care if we had it as leftovers. We'd probably just eat up the meatballs. So I'm gonna do one cup dry of rice and it's super easy. You just go down here to your Instant Pot Hit the rice button, it sets it for 10 minutes. Pop your lid on, and in 10 minutes, you've got rice. Our meatballs are just about done, so I went ahead and put our teriyaki sauce onto the stove. You're just gonna turn it on medium high and whisk it until it thickens. Our rice is just about done, and then I'll show you what our dinner looks like, and we'll plate it up, and I'll give you the smart points. I just pulled the meatballs out of the oven. They look fantastic. Rice is just about done. I'm gonna get everything plated up, and I'll show you the completed dinner and then let you know exactly how many smart points. So here's the completed dinner for tonight. So I have three of the chicken meatballs. They are two smart points a piece, so that makes that a total of six points. And then I have three points worth of the jasmine rice and some carrots with some spray butter, salt, and pepper. So it is six for the meatballs and three for the rice. So this is a nine smart point dinner. So here's what I'm having for dessert tonight. Yum, yum. So what I have is five ounces of the no sugar added cherry pie filling from Great Value. I have 30 of the Lily's milk chocolate chips. You guys, they are to die for. You can order them on Nutrition. So if you just click the link down in the description box, it takes you right to the website. And then I have just a squirt of the Hershey's chocolate whipped cream so this is a five smart point dessert i'm excited what a perfect way to round out my day thank you for joining me on another what i eat in a day to lose weight on ww i hope you enjoyed all the fun that we had today my dogs had a wonderful relaxing day as always that dinner was phenomenal you guys definitely definitely need to try out that recipe don't forget about the built bar promotion Three days only guys and by the time you see this you have today and tomorrow and that flavor is on point 
delicious. Very different from any other Built Bar that's come out this far. So make sure you hop onto BuiltBar.com, use my code, and order the Mint Brownie Delight. Again, thanks for watching. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you thought of this, what I eat in a day, and in fact, what was your favorite part of today's video? Love you guys, and see you in the next one. Bye!